now we need to countersink these bridge pin holes a little bit. And we need to countersink them uh, on the top so that our bridge pin, the little collar right here, needs to sit in the area that we are going to countersink. So I am going to use the drill press, countersink the bridge pin hole, and just kind of eyeball it, because remember we are on a radius. So it's gonna be difficult to set a depth gauge or go off of that or anything. So I'm gonna to have to kind of eyeball it, and I'm going to use this bridge pin as my guide to see if it's going to fit. The pin needs to get reamed into the bridge with a, uh, a tapered reamer, but I don't wanna do that yet because I still want to be able to use this as guide holes for drilling the top. So I'm not gonna ream that yet, but I am going to use the head of the pin to try and figure out if I'm wide enough. As I press down on this, as long as I get this countersink into the center of the hole, I'm gonna let this loose a little bit and it'll find its own center. And then I hold on to it so it doesn't spin. Now this countersink is a five bladed countersink and it has a tendency to chatter a little bit and leave some teeth marks in the top. They do make better countersinks. I've just never purchased one. Um, although I guess I should think about that, but it works and I'll finish this out with a piece of sandpaper to make sure any of those teeth marks or chatter marks uh, come out of there. Not quite there, almost. Okay, that one's pretty close, so I will move on to the second one. are all about the same size but unfortunately they're not quite big enough still got a little bit to go ideally the bridge pin goes through and this collar just sits in that recess and we're, I don't think we're there yet almost it may require a little bit of touch up uh, while it's on the guitar itself but the more I can do um, off the guitar, the better, so that I don't risk damaging that top or the bridge while it's on. All right, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. They look pretty even and there's some chatter marks in there but I will sand those out and hopefully we don't need to do any touch up when it's on the guitar but I like where it's at right now. So let's move on to the saddle slot. <laughs> 